guys, I'm Leigh Portugal from Fullerton, California. I've been smoking for 42 years. So I pretty much started smoking at age 12 in my mom and dad's bathroom with a bunch of girlfriends. They thought it would be funny to like hit me in the stomach. And so of course I inhaled my very first time, choked for about a half an hour, but it was pretty much on and cracking from there. I quit once for eight years, cold turkey, and a couple times when I was pregnant with my two daughters, but pretty much pretty steady since then. So in high school, I worked a lot of hours and I was under a lot of stress, so smoking kind of took the edge off, you know? And it kind of made me feel like comfortable in a crowd because I was kind of shy, didn't really fit in that well. Kind of just went with the whole drinking, smoking, partying scene. I don't know, I thought it made me look kind of sexy. You'd think after I quit that, that one time for eight years, I would have just been done with it. But I think being around other people who were smoking, it just made me think about it more and more. And then I took that first cigarette, and then I, it was just, I couldn't put it down after that. It, it became like something I needed to do to calm down, it became a habit while I was driving, after I you know had something to eat. All my friends were smoking, so it was just hard to put it down. Everybody else was doing it. Why do I want to quit? God, I wish I could say it was for myself, but honestly, I think I'm quitting for my youngest daughter. This is kind of sad, but she lost her dad six years ago to heart disease. And so I'm pretty much all she's got left. I mean, she's got a lot of family, but I'm her mom. And she worries about my health, and I think she worries about losing me too early. And I worry about leaving her alone without a mom. She quit smoking. She started vaping and it's worked for her. And I wanna be a good role model. You know, if my kid can do it, I should be able to do it, not just for her, but for me. So the last 24 hours have been really amazing. When I got into this, I thought, well, I'll just kind of smoke and vape, vape and smoke. But after I made the commitment yesterday that I was just gonna give this a try, it was really easy. I didn't crave a cigarette one time. I didn't really even think about it. And the whole experience of vaping was really positive. I enjoyed the taste of it. And yeah, not smelling like smoke, like not having my mouth taste so nasty and having ashes everywhere. The main reason I decided to try this vaping thing really was, was my kid. When I saw her today, and she asked me, Mom, did you cheat? Honestly, was able to tell her, you know, no, what? I didn't cheat. I didn't even think about cheating. She was just so proud of me. And I, I didn't really realize how much it meant to her. So I'm really, I'm really happy to know that, you know, 24 hours later, I feel really good about it still. I, I don't crave the cigarette. I don't, I'm not really thinking about cigarettes. Okay, so I'm on day five. Haven't cheated once. There was a couple of times when a cigarette sounded good. I popped a piece of gum in my mouth. I went outside, I walked around. I vaped for a couple of hits and it passed. So I'm good so far. Today I rewarded myself. I got uh, my car washed and detailed and got rid of all the evidence that I ever smoked in my car. So the film is gone from my, my windows, all the ashes are gone from all over the place, ashtrays gone, and the car smells like dessert all the time. After I made the commitment not to smoke, and then the next day, my little girl's sweet little face when I told her I didn't cheat, I think that's my motivator to keep going is because she's just so happy that I, I've stopped. So I think that's what's keeping me going. So it's been 11 days. Um, it's been a piece of cake. I think it's been so easy that nobody actually believes that I haven't cheated, even my own kid. And it's weird how easy it really has been. Like last weekend I went to a bar, had, I don't know, two or three Jameson and ginger ales, went outside with a friend who smoked a cigarette. I took my vape out there and it was really cool. I didn't even want to hit a cigarette. I didn't want to smoke any of my own. I still had a pack in my car just in case I wanted to smoke. And today I gave them all away. It's been 14 days, two weeks now of being smoke free. And I think I'm going strong. I'm here at work where most of my daily stressors take place. 
I'm a social worker. I work with adults with severe mental illness and it can be a very challenging job. I think more than anything now it's been like a competition with myself because I just don't like to fail. Okay, so I'm in month three now, still cigarette free. My vaping habits have changed a little bit the first couple months. Pretty much vaping all day, uh, especially when I'm driving to and from work. Weekends a little bit more if I'm drinking, hanging out with my daughter who's, who vapes. But month three, I'm down to vaping maybe once during the day, occasionally while I'm driving. And depending on what I'm doing, if I'm at the casino, if I'm drinking, I might be vaping then. When I started, I pretty much stuck to the dessert flavors. I've graduated to liking lemon tart by Dinner Lady. Really like that a lot. I wish the clouds were a little bit bigger, but I don't know, maybe I'll try a different vape. One of the coolest things about vaping instead of smoking is that I don't have to buy lighters. I don't have to go outside and take all that time to smoke a whole cigarette. I can just go hit it a couple times and get right back to work. So that's kind of added to my whole productivity during the day. Pretty cool. My new boyfriend doesn't smoke, so he loves the fact that, you know, I'm vaping instead of smoking. He's kind of hoping that maybe I'll stop vaping too, but baby steps. What's up with the clouds? How come my clouds aren't very big? It's like my coworkers, like they're so into it. They're talking about battery sizes and charging their cartridges. I'm kind of jealous because they're really into it and they're really into the fact that their clouds are like huge and oh, my clouds are bigger than your cloud. 